In this video, I'll show you how to express a sine wave and a cosine wave as a single sine wave. This is part two in the series. The question reads, express y is equal to 274 sine omega t plus 371 cosine omega t as a single sine wave. To do this question effectively, you'll need to understand that cosine omega t is equal to sine omega t plus 90 degrees. So instead of using cosine, we can use this relationship instead. So let's rewrite this equation in terms of sine exclusively. y is equal to 274 sine omega t, notice that this hasn't changed, plus 371 sine omega t plus 90 degrees. Now that you've written this equation, to add two waves of the same frequency, notice that these have the same frequency omega t, we simply find the resultant of the phasors, which are the amplitude, representing those sine waves. So I'll rewrite these in terms of its amplitude and its angle. y is equal to 274 at an angle of 0 degrees plus 371 at an angle of 90 degrees. And I'll treat these as individual vectors. So this will be vector 1 and this will be vector 2. The resultant of these two vectors will serve as my final amplitude and angle for my final sine wave. Now here's what I mean. First, I'll draw these two vectors out on a plane. This vector will be shown in orange. And we will assume that this straight line here represents 274 at an angle of 0. Notice that it makes an angle of 0 along the x-axis. And 371 will be represented as this line. Notice how it goes directly up, and that's because that's 90 degrees, 371. And to make it clear, I'll show this in purple, so that way you can differentiate between the two. Next, I have to add these two vectors, and you can add vectors by using the tail-to-tip method. Taking one of these vectors and placing it at the head of the other, and your final resultant vector will be right here. So we need to find out what this angle is, and we need to find out its magnitude. We can easily do that using A, the Pythagorean theorem, to find out the magnitude and b, we can use trigonometric functions to figure out the angle. So let's start off with the Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. This will represent our c. This can represent 371 squared, and this can represent 274. Adding these two terms up and then square rooting both sides, let's use our calculator for that. We have the square root of 371 to the power of 2 plus 274 to the power of 2. That gives us 461.2. 461.2. Given that these both have three significant figures, we will stop writing after this 2. So our magnitude is 461. Now we need to find the angle. And remember, we could have easily moved this vector over here. And that being said, we have 274, we have 371. To find this angle, we need to use opposite over adjacent, which is tangent. Tangent theta, this angle right here we'll call theta. Opposite is 371 over 274, opposite over adjacent. 371 divided by 274, and we find the tangent inverse of that gives us 53.55. 53.55. This number becomes a 6 because we want to limit it to three significant figures. And since this number is odd and the number that is first to be removed is 5, it goes up to 53.6 degrees. Therefore, our final sine wave function will be 461 sine omega t plus 53.6 degrees. This represents your sine function 
for these two terms combined. And there you have it. That is how to express a sine wave and cosine wave as a single sine wave.